Welcome to the dating story. I am your columnist Ratan Priya with another horror story from the world of modern dating. And this time it's serious business. Can you tell the liars from the fakers from the scammers on dating app? It's tricky. Everybody lies a little. We aren't very big on being ourselves. It's one thing to embellish the truth, but it's entirely different if you're just a Jamtara dude posing as a Tinder date. Believe it or not, scammers are the only ones thriving on dating apps with AI voice change, deep fakes and the big stigma monster as their business tools. Cons are making billions out of online dating. It's a fresh Black Mirror episode. Don't you think it's ironic how the Delhi IS guy who recently got scammed for more than 1 lakh in cash and kind on a first date met his swindler at a cafe literally named Black Mirror. Afsan Parveen, the con, rizzed him up with a sneak peek picture right before the date. Her photo was real, but the dinner bill that she gave her date to pay wasn't. Parveen catches prey like him on Tinder, Bumble, Hinge and even Shadi.com. She had a wide, wide empire. Clearly, she's a go-getter or was now that she is in police custody. Thanks to people like her, romance scam is a pandemic spreading all over. Well, romance is itself a scam these days, but I'll dis love later. What are the dating apps doing? They're selling you the safe, user-sensitive and two-factor authentication lies. But let's be real, they don't know what they're doing. Their AI detector is as good as the tech used by the grifters and cheats who use them to avoid those detectors. Nobody is safe. Parveen was working with a cafe manager and the staff as a team, but many people are perfectly pulling off such heists on their own. First, they will woo you in, fake intimacy, trick you into being vulnerable and then straight up rob you. You must be wondering how come they don't get caught. Well, that's because victims don't report them. See, you should understand, telling people that you are seeking a real connection with someone on dating apps is embarrassing enough. I can only imagine how mortifying it must be to share, bro, I got honey trapped. My college roommate took a month to share that she almost got arrested because of a guy who claimed to be based in Muscat and she found him on Tinder. They matched in Chennai but they never met because he claimed that he left the city right after swiping right on her. He talked like the smoothest thing to walk the earth since butter and quickly he became her late night yap partner. Forget the hostel address, he even knew our room number. Eventually, he asked for a big favor. Can you keep a FedEx package safe for me? He said he will send his friend to collect it. Obviously, it wasn't going to be full of chocolates, so my roommate blocked him everywhere. His biggest tell? Zero pictures with any friend on his Instagram account. He must be lying, right? Another way to spot a con is when they are too eager too soon to shift the conversation out of the dating app. Many guys will act too shy to share their real-time selfies with you, but some of them will fool you into sending your pictures and then they will hold it for ransom. They can even demand your father's property to keep it private. A lot of times, they will keep the meeting location secret. Don't just show up like that, no Rocky Randhawa is waiting for you there. Scammers also arrange dates in shady Ghaziabad malls or some new restaurant which doesn't exist on Google. Their social media presence is low-key at best because not everybody is Tinder swindler. He's not famous enough to have fans on the internet. See, if you're the only one following your new hinge match, you can also understand how they must be unsafe for society. One popular tip to save yourself from falling into these creepy traps is to reverse image search their profile picture. That bumble match might shock you as a hot stock photo. Of course, smart scammers don't even let you smell their trick. Basically, you won't know what hit you and why you owe so much money to someone random you met on a dating app. That way, online dating is like Russian roulette. I don't have a winning strategy, do you? 